We'll take a couple of minutes to discuss the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Uh, first off, let's kind of look at the names. Uh, the root word, carrion, is Latin for kernel, like the kernel inside a nut. And this refers to a nucleus, an internal nucleus that's compartmentalized. The prefixes pro and u, pro means before, and u means through. So if we use these to analyze the names, prokaryotic means coming before there was a recognizable nucleus, and these are relatively primitive cells and, and don't have a nucleus isolated from the rest of the cell. And eukaryotic means true nucleus. Uh, these do have an isolated nuclear component to the cell. They are also more advanced and, and quite a bit larger. In comparing prokaryotic versus eukaryotic relative to the typical number of cells, their general size, presence or absence of organelles, kind of DNA they have, and examples, uh, we find that prokaryotic are typically single-celled organisms. Sometimes they will form chains or groups, but, but they're not really multicellular. Where eukaryotic can be single-celled or multicellular. In size, Prokaryotic are quite tiny, whereas eukaryotic are relatively large. Uh, to give you an example of how tiny uh, a prokaryotic cell is, if we think of E. coli, which is a common intestinal bacterium, it's sort of hot dog shaped. If you were to take one E. coli and one hot dog and make them both proportionately larger, so that the E. coli was now the size of a regular hot dog. The hot dog would be eight miles long. That gives you some idea of just how tiny these are. Uh, relative to organelles, prokaryotic generally don't have organelles. They, they have some ribosomes, but they're not the, the uh, layered uh, organelles that we find in eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells do have a large variety of organelles including some which appear to be symbiotic bacteria that have been incorporated into those cells in a very early stage. Relative to DNA, the bacteria, the prokaryotic cells, have a circular DNA strand that's continuous, whereas eukaryotic cells have the DNA arranged in separate chunks or pieces that are called chromosomes. And examples of uh, prokaryotic bacteria and the archaea or extremophiles and with eukaryotic the protestans, the fungi, the plants, and the animals. Let's stop there.